Hello, Internet. In a change to your scheduled billing, this week I'll be talking about why you should or shouldn't do a PhD, and the types of PhD available in the UK. So why should you do a PhD? You really want to be an academic or do research? It's the standard way in. You're really interested in a specific area of research and want to pursue it to a higher level. Or if you need a higher level qualification for a job you want to get. If this is the case though, you should still be interested. PhDs are hard and you shouldn't go into it if you're not interested in the area that you're going to be researching. Why shouldn't you do a PhD? Just for the title. Dr. Wilkinson, for now, for now. Because you're afraid of getting a real job. I know lots of graduates doing lots of different jobs. Most of them enjoy them and also you get paid more. You want to stay a student forever. Again, being a student doesn't pay as well as not being a student. And you should go and join the real world. So having now decided if you do want to do a PhD or not, you're going to have to pick between the different types of PhD available in the UK. The traditional PhD. These are normally funded for three years by one of the research councils. And you're aiming to complete within three to three and a half years. With this kind of PhD, the topic has normally been chosen by your supervisors and you'll be applying specifically for that area of research. Currently the funding for these is about 13 and a half thousand tax free each year. An ENGD. This is the engineering version of a standard PhD. These normally last for four years and they'll include taught elements as well as an industrial placement. I believe these are funded at the same level as a traditional PhD. Doctoral Training Centre PhD. These are normally four years with taught elements. You'll probably have about six months of teaching, which is a bit like doing a very quick master's. At the end of the six months, you'll have a choice from several topics, so you don't necessarily know what you're signing up for straight away. But you should have a better understanding of the research area you're going into and therefore pick something you're going to enjoy more. This seems to be the way the majority of PhDs in the UK are headed, and they're funded at a similar level to the traditional PhD. Industrial Case PhD. This is what I'm doing. You're usually funded for four years, and you'll have to spend three to six months on an industrial placement. Benefits of this type of PhD include experience in both academia and industry, access to shiny industrial equipment, and a chance for networking within industry. You also get a top up to your grant of up to £7,000 a year. However, there is added bureaucracy when you're working with a company, and sometimes you can't talk as freely about your research topic. If you're on any of the standard PhD programmes, they'll all follow the same general pattern over the three to four years. First year. Literature review. Learning new stuff. Playing with shiny equipment. Narrow down the methods you're going to use. Advanced training necessary for your research area. A report and or viva. And then in second year. Method development. For industrial case PhDs, potentially your placement. You might even start collecting useful data. A report and or viva. And then third year. Data collection. Data collection. If you're on a three-year programme, you'll need all your data by the end of your third year. A report and or viva. And finally, fourth year. Data collection. Thesis writing, more thesis writing, thesis writing, thesis writing, viva. And then of course you get to graduate. Yay! Next week with a bit more free time, I'll be able to finish my video on why doing a PhD makes you a jack of all trades and a master of one. See you next time. And don't forget to subscribe. Swag. Swag. Abstract booklet. Notepad. Advertising for things I cannot afford. Local information. Wow, first shot. <laughs> There you go, he's awesome. Problem is, no one would believe that was actually the first shock.